All right, we're back. Now, with this whole situation, Chris Brown versus Rihanna, did he do it, did she do it, how did it happen, I heard this, I heard that, this is what happens when you have lots of media forms that are out there. Lots of information gets misconstrued, and we have stories that tell over stories and information that was never there. I've heard everything from an STD was involved, to a pregnancy involved, to somebody slept with somebody's best friend, and to all this kind of stuff. I'm telling you, most of that stuff is what's called celebrity gossip or celeb gossip. You need to find out what the truth is. So I have here a copy of the search warrant and affidavit from the state of California and county of Los Angeles. Boom. The official one. This is basically if you get yourself in some sort of uh, legal trouble and uh, you got to fill out a police report, it's all here. So right here I have my, I think it's 13 page summary of what happened. Now I can read this all for you, but I uh, found somebody online who's going to read it for me. Check this out. Uh, some of the actual filing documents, what they're using in the case against uh, Chris Brown and Rihanna, and we're finding out this is much more serious than any of us had anticipated. Let me set this up for you, all right? This is the night before the Grammys. They're driving home from a party. They're getting ready for the next day. It should be a big day for them. Instead, they get involved in some kind of argument, which anybody can have, but this one, according to police, turned much more serious, much more violent. I will read to you now from this Sunday, February. 8th. This is the uh, search warrant and affidavit that we've just gotten our hands on right here. Brown was driving a vehicle with Robin. Robin is Rihanna, by the way. That's her real name. As the front passenger in an unknown street in Los Angeles, Robin, listen to this, picked up Brown's cellular telephone and observed a three-page text from a woman who Brown apparently had a previous relationship with. This sets off the problem. It's a verbal argument ensued and brown pulled the vehicle over on an unknown street reached over to rihanna with his right hand opened the car door and attempted to force her out in the middle of the road uh, brown was unable to force her out of the car because she was wearing a seat belt when he could not push her out of the car he took his right hand and shoved her head against the passenger window of the vehicle causing an approximate one inch raised circular contusion so that was the first bruise that we've been reading about on her face then robin turns to face brown and he punches her in the left eye with his right hand he then drives away in the vehicle and continues to punch her in the face repeatedly with his right hand while steering the vehicle with his left hand. This assault causes her mouth to fill with blood and blood to splatter all over her clothing and all over the interior, uh, interior of the vehicle. I read on. Uh, Brown looked at Robin, that's Rihanna, and stated, "I'm." in fact, we've got, let's put this up. I think we were able to put this one together. This is one of the things that caught our eye. He says to her, Roger, if you got the graphic, I'm going to beat the bang out of you when we get home. He says to her, you wait and see, he goes on to say. Rihanna then picks up her cellular telephone and calls her personal assistant. Uh, she doesn't answer the phone. Then he goes on to say to her this. All right, you're reading that one, right? That's where he says, I'm going to beat you. The boom. Let's go to the next one now. He's quoted as saying this. So say police. I'm on my way home. Make sure the cops are there when I get there. All right, that's Rihanna now. Pardon me, I misspoke. That's Rihanna, even though it says Robin F., saying to her personal assistant, I'm on my way home. Make sure the cops are there when I get there. This statement was made while the greeting was playing and was not captured on a message, says the police affidavit. Now, after Rihanna faked the call, Brown looked at her and stated, let's put this one up too. This goes right to the heart of the matter. You just did the stupidest thing ever, he says to her. Now I'm going to kill you. Now I'm going to kill you. Brown resumes punching her. She interlocks her fingers behind her head and brought her elbows forward to try and protect her face. She then bent over at the waist, placing her elbows and her face near her lap in an attempt to protect her face and head from the barrage of punches that, being, that are being levied upon her. This is the picture that we had not been showing you until now. The reason we had chosen not to show it is we were waiting for the police to actually file charges against him, making this now evidentiary material. It's actually a piece of evidence that's being used in this case. I'm going to continue. Brown continued driving 
and he observed his cellular telephone sitting on his lap. She picked up the cellular phone with her left hand, and before she could make a call, it placed her on a headlock. He placed her in a headlock with his right hand and continued to drive the vehicle with his left hand. I mean, this thing continues. She reached up with her left hand and began attempting to gouge his eyes in an attempt to free herself. Brown bit her left ring and middle fingers and then released her. Brown continued to punch her. She turned around and placed her back against the passenger door. She brought her knees to this chest. This is concluding now. Placed her feet against Brown's body and began to try and push him away. Brown continued to punch her in her legs and her feet, causing several contusions. And finally, uh, Rihanna began screaming for help, ran from the vehicle. Uh, a resident in the neighborhood heard her plea for help and called 911. There they are, the details of the case. Let's. So, now that you've heard the truth in detail, question. What is your reaction after hearing the truth, the actual truth in detail, and not the celebrity gossip that you've heard before? Number two, what do you think should happen to Mr. Chris Brown if this information is true? And number three, if you were the young lady in this case, Miss Robin F., a.k.a. Rahana, what would be the first thing you would have done? So right after this, what would the first thing you would be done? So number one, what is your reaction after hearing the actual truth in detail? Number two, what do you think should happen to Mr. Brown if all of this is true? And number three, what would you do if you were the young lady in this case? What would be the first thing you would do? Talk about that. We'll be right back.